Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Let's solve this particular problem. Again in this problem it is said that determine the force and moment reactions at the support A of the built in beam which is subjected to the sine wave load distribution. So, we have this sine wave load distribution and, and let us say that this is this sine wave is represented by a function w of x right and that w of x will be equal to omega naught the maximum value of this sine curve is omega naught sine of pi divided by l into x right. So, we can as we can see that at x is equal to if we measure if this is our positive x and y direction let us say if this if if my origin is located somewhere here right if if this is our origin and this is our positive x and this is our positive y along positive y we are plotting this w of x right so i will write that this is w of x right so now uh, as we can see that when here at this particular point this x will be equal to l divided by 2 if x is l divided by 2 so then angle is pi by 2 right so, when theta is pi by 2, so this sine curve have its maximum value, right. So, this sine curve is represented by this w of x function, right. So, let us say that the resultant associated with uh, this sine function, function is let us say r. So, we have to find that resultant. We have to find, we have to replace this distributed load which is represented by this sine curve by a resultant concentrated load and let us say that that resultant concentrated load is r right. So, that resultant concentrated load will be equal to the area under this sine curve and we have to select a differential area right. So, if I select a differential area under this curve, so let us say that this is my differential area strip right let us say. So, the, the height of this uh, differential area is how much so this is let us say w right since this curve is represented by this w of x right so this height is w this is w or we can say this is w of x right and its thickness is this thickness is dx right so we can write that since we have to find this whole area so then we have to write that this uh, dr this differential strip represent the differential resultant right. So, this dr will be equal to the area which is omega x into dx right. So, to find that resultant r we have to integrate this right. So, we can write that this dr equals to omega x dx and we have to integrate this and we have to integrate this from 0 to L right. So, this D will cancel out with this integration. So, we will be left with resultant right and we can write that this is from 0 to L and omega x is represented by this function. So, I will write omega naught sine of pi divided by L into x right and this is dx. So, now we can integrate this right and omega naught is constant. So, we can write it outside of the integration. So, this is omega naught and, and when we integrate this. So, this is cos pi divided by L into x and then we have to divide it by the derivative of this uh, angle right. So, the derivative of this angle is pi divided by L right. So, I will write this is pi divided by L and this is from 0 to L. And when with cos we have to write minus sign here as well right. So, now we can write this as minus omega naught we can write it as L divided by pi and this is cos of pi divided by L into x from 0 to L and if we put these limits. So, this is minus omega naught L divided by pi cos of is pi divided by L and if we put L, so this L will cancel out. So, we will be left with cos of pi minus, uh, we can write again that this will be minus 
omega naught l divided by pi cos of pi by l into 0 so this will be 0. So from this we can write that this is minus omega naught l divided by pi and cos of pi so pi is 180 degrees and cos of 180 degrees is minus 1 so I will write this as minus 1 and cos of 0 is 1 right so we can say that this will be minus into minus plus omega naught l divided by pi and this will also become positive right this is positive so when we add this so this will be 2 omega naught l divided by pi so this is the resultant concentrated load of this uh, distributed load which is represented by this uh, w of x function now we have to locate uh, the location of this uh, r resultant from that origin right so let's say that this r is located at a distance of x bar and x bar will be the coordinate of the centroid of this area which is associated with this distributed load right so then we can apply the principle of moments equation that we use to determine the centroid of a given area right so we will use that particular principle of moment equation right so we can write that x bar into r this resultant will be equal to x c into dr right this is that same principle of moment equation this is the moment of the resultant this resultant about this point a right here at this origin we have that point a and this is the moment the summation of all the moments of the differential loads about this point a and this xc is the distance of the centroid of this differential load right so let's say that the xc of this differential dr area from this origin is let's say xc right let's say that its centroid is located somewhere here so this will be this will be xc right so xc will be equal to x right so we can write that this will be x we know this is dr which is omega x dx this is x bar we know our value right so this is we can write that this is x and omega x is omega naught sine of pi divided by l into x and this is dx and this will be again from 0 to l this is from 0 to l now before going to integrate this uh, as we can see that uh, this distributed load uh, is symmetrical about this line if I draw L, uh, about the midpoint of this beam right this whole area is symmetrical about the midpoint of the beam so this means that the this r will pass through the centroid and this means that the centroid will be located uh, along this line if I draw a line here right so the centroid will be located on this line somewhere right and as we know that this r will pass through that centroid the line affection of this r will pass through that centroid so from this observation we can say that x bar will be equal to l divided by 2 right so we will not integrate this if we integrate this and if we put these limits so we will get this same x bar value right so let's say that x bar by inspection is equal to l divided by 2 right so now we can draw the free body diagram of uh, this cantilever beam so now if I draw the free body diagram right so this will be our cantilever beam right here we will have that uh, concentrated load which will be at a distance of L divided by 2 from that point A let's say this is that point A here we will have a x reaction here we will have a y reaction this this is our positive x and y direction remember this and this will also support the moment as well right so let's say that this is m a moment at point a right and this is that r which is equal to 2 omega naught l divided by pi right so now if, if i apply the summation of moment about point a equals to 0 so as we can see that this ma is counterclockwise so i will write ma and this r is producing the clockwise moment about that point a so i will write minus 
this is 2 omega naught L divided by pi and the perpendicular distance of this R by inspection we can say that this is L divided by 2. So, I will multiply this with L divided by 2 and this is equal to 0. So, when we multiply this, so this will become L square and this 2 will cancel out, right. So, from this we can say that M A equals to omega naught L square divided by pi, right. This is M A, the moment support at point A and similarly if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0. So, as we can see that only x is acting in the positive x direction. So, this means that x is equal to 0. Similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0. So, as we can see that this a y is acting in the positive y direction and this r is acting in the negative y direction and this r magnitude is 2 omega naught l divided by pi and this is equal to 0. So, from this we can say that a y is equal to 2 omega naught l divided by pi and if we uh, determine the resultant reaction at a, let us say that the resultant reaction at a is r a. So, that will be equal to a x square plus a y square and a x is 0. So, this means that r a magnitude will be equal to a y magnitude which is equal to 2 omega naught l divided by pi. Right. So, this is the moment support at that point A and this is the resultant reaction at that point A. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope you people would have understood this particular problem solution. Kindly subscribe my channel if you are new to my channel. Also like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems related to distributed loads topic.